In this video, I'm talking about an alternative way to treat single-sided deafness. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and Founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I release a new video. There are several different treatment options when it comes to single-sided deafness. You have bone-anchored hearing aids like the Baja Attract and Connect, and you also have the Adhere system from Medell. And then you have traditional hearing aids that use either a cross or a bi-cross setup using a cross transmitter. Each of these systems work in a similar way. They basically take sound from your bad ear and send it over to your good ear so your good ear can do the work and actually understand speech that's coming from your bad side. It's actually overcoming a phenomenon that we call the head shadow effect. The head shadow effect is essentially the phenomenon that happens when sound is trying to cross over your head into your other ear and it ends up resulting in about a six or seven decibel reduction in that sound which can completely destroy your ability to understand and speech from your bad side or even make you completely unaware that anyone's even talking to you from your bad side. In the case that you also have a hearing loss in your better hearing ear, these devices can be programmed to amplify that sound once it gets over to your better hearing ear. So not only are you going to overcome the head shadow effect, you can also amplify it so you can overcome the hearing loss in that particular ear. However, each one of these treatment options tends to ignore your bad ear. And what if your bad ear has a little bit of residual hearing left in it? In some cases of single-sided deafness, you could have some measurable hearing thresholds in your bad ear. You could also even have a little bit of word recognition ability in that ear, just not enough to give you complete speech understanding capabilities in that ear. You might also have tinnitus in that ear. A lot of individuals who go through a sudden hearing loss will be left with this really loud roaring tinnitus that drives them absolutely crazy. And what if we could actually stimulate that particular ear to gain some additional benefits like binaural which is the increased benefit that you get when both ears participate in a task? Or what if it could actually mask over some of that tinnitus that you have? Then it would make sense to actually amplify that deaf ear as well as sending sound over to the better ear. And this type of treatment that I'm talking about is called amp cross. Amp cross is essentially a way that we set up hearing aids in order to amplify the side that is your bad ear and also sending that sound over to your better hearing ear and maybe even amplifying it if that ear has a hearing loss as well. Now, AmpCross isn't necessarily a product. It's rather a way that a hearing care provider can set up a set of hearing devices in order to accomplish this function. And not a lot of hearing care providers are aware of how to actually do this. An AmpCross setup is accomplished by taking hearing devices that have a binaural phone feature. That binaural phone feature can then be set up to accomplish what we want it to. The binaural phone feature originally was designed for individuals who hold the phone up to one ear and want to send that phone call from that side into their other ear as well, so they can hear the phone call in both ears, which increases their speech understanding. It works terrific for phone calls, but you can also use it for single-sided deafness. By using this binaural phone feature, we can essentially set those devices up to provide amplification to your bad ear and also send sound over to your good ear. And if we need to, we can amplify that sound as well to make sure that you can hear sound from your bad side in your good ear, as well as masking over any tinnitus or giving you any little bit of additional benefit by providing amplification to your deaf side. Now, even though AmpCross can be a terrific treatment option for a variety of individuals who can still get a little bit of residual hearing on their bad side, it isn't without its shortcomings. And so it has one particular shortcoming that you have to deal with, and that is when you actually use a phone feature instead of an automatic program setting, you're actually going to limit the amount of automatic features that you can have in those hearing devices. So if you go to a noisy restaurant, you're not going to be able to use some of the noise reduction features of that particular hearing aid because you're essentially telling that hearing aid that you want it to remain in the phone feature. I would venture to say that there is a number of people out there that are using a bone anchored hearing aid or a bicross or a cross hearing aid setup that would get even more benefit by using an amp cross setup. If you're someone who has a little bit of residual hearing on your bad side and you also want to be able to cross that sound over into your better hearing ear, amp cross might be the right treatment option for you. 
Quick shout out to Dr. Scott Frink who provided some of the content and inspiration for this video. If you are someone with single-sided deafness and you are up in the Salem, Oregon area, Dr. Scott Frink is one of the foremost experts in our industry for single-sided deafness using Cross by Cross and Amp Cross. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.